I'd like to commence this video with a request. For those interested in receiving more premium betting tips and predictions, especially if my guidance has contributed to your success in winning bets and generating revenue, I kindly seek your support in revitalizing this channel. Your assistance plays a crucial role in bolstering my presence on YouTube. You're welcome to explore my Patreon support tier or check out my various plans. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you seeking our premium picks. You can find the link in the bio and comment section below. Thank you for considering and supporting me. Royals vs Rays, my team pick is Royals win. The Royals continue to prove they are no fluke, coming into Tampa Bay and putting the smackdown on the Rays on Friday night, 8-1. They have shown a consistent balance to this point in this season, and that is what has driven their success, especially lately. Their pitching has been very solid, allowing three runs or less in six of the seven games in their winning streak. Watch has gone two to three with a 4.41 era in six row starts this season, but has picked up a win in his last two outings away from home, allowing a combined four runs, six hits, and seven walks in those games. His counterpart Bradley is 3-6 with a 5.40 era in 12 career starts at the Trop. Before Saturday, the Rays were just double one, double one at home this season. Take the Royals. My total pick is over eight runs. These two combined for nine runs in the opener, though eight of them were courtesy of the Royals. Before Saturday, Kansas City had scored eight runs or more in five straight games and had scored five or more in each game of their win streak. The Rays' offense can go a little dormant at times, but they had put up at least four runs or more in nine of their last 13 games. Between the two teams this season, there have been 48 games that have hit the over. The over is also 5-3 in the last eight games between the two. Take the over. Blue Jays versus Tigers, my team pick is Blue Jays' money line. Neither of these teams are playing their best baseball right now, which actually makes this a pretty interesting contest from a betting perspective. The Tigers have lost Casey Mize's last four starts, while the Blue Jays have dropped UC Kikuchi's last five outings. However, in Kikuchi's case, it really hasn't been his fault. The left-hander has been lights out over four starts this month, 24.1 IP, posting a 2.22 era and 1.07 whip. Meanwhile, Mize has been very unreliable, registering a 6.63 era and 1.53 whip over the same four-start sample size, 19.0 IP. I feel that Kikuchi is the more polished starter at this point, and the Jays also have the better top-end talent, so I'll lay the minus 125 juice to say they salvage a series split. My total pick is over 7.5 runs. When it comes to playing a total in this game, I don't mind drinking the minus 122 juice that comes with the over 7.5 runs. Considering the form that Mize is currently in, I don't think 8 runs is too outlandish of a number to reach. Over the last seven days, Toronto's offense has looked good, ranking ninth in team batting average .259 and sixth in ops .780. They should tee off against Mize in this game, helping to guide this game over the total. On the flip side, I'm expecting a very solid outing from Kikuchi. However, once this game gets to Toronto's bullpen, that's when we could see Detroit's offense come alive. The Jays are ranked 27th in bullpen era 4.70 and 22nd in whip 1.35. They've also allowed 27 home runs, which is the second most in the MLB. Let's play the over at this deflated number of 7.5 runs. Orioles versus White Sox. My team pick is Baltimore Moneyline. It is certainly hard to back the White Sox in any capacity, even as their main numbers have started to turn up. The Orioles lead the league in homer run rate and have only been hitting better when playing in afternoon games. Crochet has been a solid hurler this season, but the Orioles continue to limit strikeouts and their ability to extend hits and launch the ball out of the park will ultimately prove too much for the White Sox to compete with. My total pick is under 7.5 runs. As touched on earlier, Crochet has been a terrific hurler this season and is currently hold opponents to under .1, double zero era as of the moth of May. Crochet has logged more Ks than innings throw in every scenario this season. Bradish should be able to keep a cap on the White Sox offense as they are sitting in the bottom of baseball in hits and runs per game. Bradish has been tossing his best on the road this season and has yet to allow a home run this season. Don't expect that to change here. Rangers versus Twins, my team pick is Rangers Moneyline. The Texas Rangers are five games below 500, but are still second in the Al West and the division is struggling this season. Texas trails Seattle by three games in the standings and have just a half game lead over the surging Astros. The Rangers come into the game off of six straight losses 
as they dropped the last game of the series against the Angels, got swept by the Phillies, and lost the first two here against the Twins. The Rangers' top power hitter has been Adolis Garcia. He has 12 home runs and 37 RBIs, both of which lead the team. Garcia has been taking the DH spot and batting fourth in the lineup with a .247 batting average. Marcus Semien is their second baseman. He has been taking the leadoff spot in recent lineups and is tied for second on the team with nine home runs and has added 34 RBIs while batting .258. He is followed in the lineup by Corey Seager. The shortstop also has nine home runs to go with 21 RBIs on the year. The top batting average on the team belongs to third baseman Josh Smith. He is batting .274 and has added two home runs and 20 RBIs from the third spot in the lineup. Texas has not yet announced their starter for this game, yet they do have their starters set for the following four games, which means this will likely be a bullpen game. The Rangers rank 19th in Team Era at 4.16 and are 10th in the league in total strikeouts. This is a buy low moment for the Rangers. They have lost their last six games, but luckily for them, the Al West has not been strong and they are still second in the division with a losing record. Texas will bounce back here, as their offense is still at full strength with Semyon and Seeger at the top of the order, and Garcia as their top power hitter. Minnesota will start Lopez in this one, and he is coming off a disastrous start. Lopez gave up seven runs to the Nationals in his last start, and his era is way up at 4.72. The Rangers have not yet announced their starter, but this may not be a bad this as their pitching staff is 10th in the majors in strikeouts, and has the power to go up against these Twins three innings at a time. Lopez already given up nine home runs on the season and is likely to give up more to this Texas lineup. Take the Rangers to win. My total pick is over. Phillies versus Rockies. My team pick is Phillies minus 1.5 runs. The Philadelphia Phillies have been hitting extremely well thus far as they are third in baseball with a .7, double five team ops while scoring 5.37 runs per game. The team has been hitting for power as they are tied with the Los Angeles Angels Angels for sixth place with 62 total home runs. First baseman Bryce Harper has been hitting incredibly well as he has a .929 OPS with 12 home runs, 37 RBI, 31 runs scored and three steals on five attempts. Ranger Suarez has been pitching extremely well throughout the season, according to his baseball savant page as he is in the 97th percentile in Zera, 97th percentile in average exit velocity, 94th percentile in hard hit percentage, and 87th percentile in XBA. He has six different pitches sinker, curveball, fastball, changeup cutter, slider, and his changeup has been phenomenal as hitters have a .095 batting average and a .119 slugging percentage against it. Suarez faced the Rockies once this season already and won by pitching a complete game shutout after allowing seven hits with one walk and eight strikeouts. When diving into the pitching splits, these starters are showing the difference here as Ranger Suarez is 4-0 with a 0.96 era and a .130 opposing batting average in four road starts 28.0 innings, while Cal Quantrill is 1-2 with a 3.91 era and a .247 batting average against in four home starts 23.0 innings this season. In the last five games, these offenses are on two completely different levels as Philadelphia is averaging 6.8 runs per game, while Colorado is down at 4.2 runs per game. Go with the Red Hot Phillies team to cover the run line here on the road. My total pick is over 9.5 runs. Neither bullpen has been able to get out effectively as the Phillies are 20th in the majors with a 4.12 reliever era while the Rockies are 29th in the sport with a 4.98 bullpen era thus far. These offenses have been producing well with runners in scoring position throughout the season as Philadelphia is 4th in the league with a .846 team ops in those situations while Colorado is 11th with a .757 team ops in those at bats. All in all, go with over 9.5 runs in this game as the better option.